Hello everyone, Santa Dog 2, welcome to another Fabric Mode review, this time on Simplex Terrain Generation, a mod that adds not only a different world type, but also a bunch of configuration options that you can use to determine things like certain octaves of the Simplex noise for terrain generation, as well as obviously certain specific things like regions, and certain biomes that sort of can transition. Um, so obviously you've got sort of like a snowy tiger up there, you've got a birch forest in between, and you've got a swamp on the lower level. You can see sort of just a cross of a forest, possibly plains, birch forest. So a bunch of combinations of biomes depending on certain um, elevations. Um, as you can see there. Um, so obviously you've got variants of deep ocean, other variants of ocean, beach, plains, desert, swamps, savannas and jungles that can be considered around that Y level, and the rest obviously the higher you go up. Um, obviously it's a bunch in the configs but we'll just show what it looks like when you actually experience it for yourself by default without changing anything. So you can see a bit of a forest and birch forest here. Put coordinates up just in case. Probably may just be typical generation between those. Oh, okay, so we've transitioned to mountain edge at above the typical um, elevation you would have in the world. Go a bit higher. You can see actual mountains. At the 200, 220-ish mark. Well, 210 I guess. We go down. You can see forest below. If we go down even further, if it still keeps creeping down, we'll see a plains and hopefully a beach. So... As you can see... So let's see what happens with oceans as well. So, 60s. I should get a mission potion for this, just in case. You can see it going to a deep ocean now, in the 30s and the lower. But if we go back up, we can see more of the regular ocean. Possibly around, yep, so around the 40s to 50s. And then creeps up all the way to the, the level of the forest or plains or beach here. So, yeah. Otherwise though, in terms of things you can tweak, uh, there is obviously mod compatibility, which I'm assuming is for certain mods that add um, different biomes or possibly even world gen specific stuff, but I don't know what exactly is supported by the mod, so I can't really give anything like that, but I would guess that it's more so just um, uh, traverse or terrestrial support. Uh, you've got the ability to add detail and noise or not. You've got the ability for sacrificing accuracy for speed. Not too sure of those, but I'm assuming that's just maybe the accuracy of speed is more so in that the rate at which it generates things, or the accuracy of it doing things at like that sort of um, elevation, noise, bits and pieces. I'm only guessing here, I don't know. Um, obviously with Noise Generator, I'm assuming you've got the option of Simplex, possibly even Vanilla as option there, I'm not too sure. Um, that would be my guess of the two options. You've got the base height at 100, the base octave mounts at 11, which obviously you could change those and it's obviously normally normalized to fit. 256 and 0 
for the height map. I'm assuming you could have it probably even less than 11, maybe more, not too sure. Um, otherwise, there's the detail octave amount and the scale octave amount. Obviously, it will change certain aspects of. Um, I'm assuming maybe just what's flat and what's hilly or mountainous in certain cases. Not too sure on specifics. Uh, you've got the base noise frequency coefficient, the base noise sampling frequency, the detail amplitude of being higher or lower. So obviously I'm assuming that'll be the more possibly above like 128 or possibly even so above 60 maybe sort of biomes compared to say the sort of swamp there maybe maybe not the birch forest the detail frequency so obviously the frequency of the uh, I'm assuming noise in certain aspects I'm obviously no expert on this stuff even the what 12 biome generation stuff before they changed it to the buffet in 113. I kind of understood it, but I'll just go with what I can here. Um, there's the scale amplitude high and low, then frequency exponent, You've got the detail noise threshold, and the scale threshold, so obviously being lower numbers probably does trigger a lot of uh, things, so probably best to put a low number unless you really want it to drastically change. Um, the biome or elevation, uh, sorry, more so the elevation I mean. Um, there's the lowland start height, so obviously that means it'll end at about 68 at the beach. So obviously anything higher than that, it'll reflect a lot differently. Or you can just change it to be what it ends at um, for others. It's obviously the start, but it starts at 68. Um, obviously would differ in terms of, say, ocean compared to land and whatever else is higher up. Other than that, obviously you've got low, medium, high, and the top, so if you wanted to be at 200 you could, compared to lower down. Um, and you've got the biome scale amount, which is obviously the regions um, stated here. Otherwise though, that's pretty much it. Uh, you probably could have it so that you use this generation and then maybe make it reflect what the regular vanilla one does, where it's just like, okay, I've got a beach, I've got an ocean, and then I've kind of just got whatever in between that's not going up to the 250s, but going to about 60, 70, I think is the typical, and then having the um, biomes be a lot more um, probably a lot smaller than they would be compared to this generation, but um, a lot more normal, but you've got the differences between them to still sort of work um, in interesting ways. But otherwise though, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.